An update on the murder of former Douglas High and Loyola University basketball star Gerald Brown. Police say Brown was targeted in Northwest Baltimore on Friday night. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren is live at City Police Headquarters with more from family and friends. Mike. Not a random killing, Vic. We talked to his father today who said he was still meeting with police and trying to finalize funeral arrangements. We also talked to a close friend who says it's imperative to get the killer off the streets. I was calling his phone several times. He didn't pick up. Ivan Baker usually hangs out with Gerald Brown, his friend since middle school, on Friday nights. Say Instagram. Don't, don't. Hey, what's up, Instagram? Last Friday, he got the call. Brown had been gunned down. I never thought in a million years that he would die so young. The only person who killed Gerald was a coward. Um, Gerald don't have no problems with anybody, and they just took away a bright light in the city. Brown, a father of three, was well known in the community, a gifted basketball player at Frederick Douglass High and Loyola University. In later years, he was a comedian who also went by G Songs and a community leader. He couldn't go anywhere with somebody saying, look, you know what, I love your videos, I love your, your character, I love what you do. A lot of people talk the talk, but they don't actually walk the walk, and Gerald walked that walk. Police believe Brown was targeted in the 3700 block of West Forest Park Avenue. The killer shot him multiple times. Baltimore is a rough city. It's a rough city, and they really don't care. I can't say when they're going to be fed up with, with murders. That's a question nobody, the answer that nobody knows, but hopefully this could be a start to something. Baker, a fixture at his East Baltimore store, Biddy's TV, knows the city well and is begging anyone who knows something about his good friend's death to come clean. If you know any type of information, please step forward. He was a father, he had kids, just like anybody else. I would want somebody to do the same thing for me. If people love him so much, then the police, should, it should be a cakewalk for them. And he says it breaks a lot of people's hearts because they feel that if Gerald can get killed in a senseless fashion like this, it can be anybody. There have been more than 130 people murdered in Baltimore this year. You can remain anonymous with your tips. Live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ.